an important year, an important examination and very little time left for your CET. And no matter how much you learn, you will always feel there is a little more to learn. And I'm going to, in this video, tell you how you can get that extra 30 marks, a little more than whatever you are preparing. And I'm telling you, if you listen to this entire video, you would be able to get 30 more marks than wherever you are currently standing or whatever is your current position. Are you ready? <laughs> Saw. The more question papers which are appropriate, marked well, schemed well, when you solve these papers, you begin to get some good marks. And the third, studying in the right way. If you're gonna if you're gonna read the numericals and if you're going to write the concepts, it's not gonna work. You need to read the concept and understand the concept. You need to write the numericals and you need to solve it. The methodology is important study right and if you're putting in the time put in the right time the right way learning and knowing the right things the right way so three things first have a positive mindset have a goal defined and have a good self-image about yourself second solve as many question papers that comes your way third and studying the right way you must be solving at least 20 CET papers now this could be something from the link that is given below or something from the past papers or something from your college or wherever you get these questions from at least 20 papers now here's the thing about solving solve it properly on a paper don't just read it don't just read it and eliminate it mentally do it the way it has to be done remember I told you to do things the right way so there's a method to do it and follow the method. If the method is right, the product and the outcome is always good. So solve it on your paper, get it examined either by yourself or by somebody else. Find out where you went wrong. So there are some questions where you got completely wrong. There are some questions where you got some concepts wrong. In some questions, you must have got the concepts right, the formula right and the answers wrong. You know, different questions would have different ways in which you would get things wrong. Find out what went wrong. Now what would you do after you found out what went wrong? Correct it. Remember as kids when we went to school, we had dictation. And what did the teacher do to us after we get something wrong? On the left hand side page, they would write a big correction and we had to write that five times or three times. Follow the basics. Do things the right way. The moment you get something wrong, find out what went wrong, learn it, come back more stronger with it. So that now when you solve another paper, you are ready with the previous mistakes and you've edited them and you've corrected them and now you are better in much, much more better force. Now here are some more things that I want you to know about uh, some chapters and some topics. So here are some topics and some chapters which I feel is very important and looking at the past papers and the trends in which the questions are asked, we, we believe that this should not be missed. So this is from the PCM perspective. Um, in physics, electrostatics, circular motion, stationary waves, electromagnetic inductions and alternating currents, atoms, molecules and nuclei, and rotational motion. Here are a questions aata hai, guma guma ke questions aata hai. And if you know these questions and these chapters and these topics, then you know you get a better grip over your physics. Remember, I'm getting calls, concerned parents, concerned children calls, emails, and a lot of comments in the comment section that physics is the game spoiler. And I'm telling you, physics will be the game changer. So before you get into uh, preparing very well, make sure your physics is under your sleeve. Physics is going to be the game changer. So plan well, study well, solve well. You know, nearly 90% of physics paper is compiling, is compiled out of uh, numerical. So you better be gritty about it. You better be strong about it. Now for chemistry, of course, uh, thermodynamics, complete organic chemistry. You cannot miss anything from organic chemistry. Colligative properties of electrochemistry and electrochemistry itself, they're very important. In maths, differentiation, integration, continuity, 3D lines on plane trigonometry and vectors know them to the depth of it know them know them know them and when you solve them make sure that you really practice these things very well very important that you follow the textual questions for your CET there are a lot of tables which are there in your textbook follow all the tables the in-text questions 
do them, know them. Text ke piche there are some questions, uh, the MCQs. They normally ask a little from there, but the in-text questions have some secret concepts on which they place some questions. So those are the do's that you should be doing and I'm going to share with you some do not do's. So amongst the do not do's, the very first thing is what I told you. Have a positive self-image, which means don't have a negative self-image or don't have a negative belief that uh, you would be tripping over the CET examination or things may not be functioning well for you, etc. So keep that state of your mind very positive, very assertive, very clear. Don't move outside that zone. The second thing, avoid getting distracted. The second thing that you should not be doing is this constant distraction which comes in. So let's say you're sitting with a book and you're learning and suddenly you, you drift from there and you start thinking about a holiday or a vacation or a future goal or a past trauma, something like that. And then you stay there in that state for, for a good 10 minutes or maybe half an hour sometimes. So remind yourself to snap out of it quickly. If you think you cannot snap out of it quickly, then keep an alarm. Keep some, some app which will tick you every one minute or every two minutes so that you know you can snap out of such events quickly. Because these are time stealers. They are opportunity thieves. They take away your time. They take away your commitment and they just mess with you and mess with your head. The third thing is knowing what has to be done and still not doing it that way. Tell me, don't you know that you have to solve papers? Are you solving those question papers the way it has to be solved? So here's the thing, not doing what you know is appropriate to be done. My fourth thing that you should not do is Go and asking too many people, ye karna chahiye kya, wo karna chahiye kya, yahan se aayega kya question, wahan se aayega kya question. So avoid this too many cooks because they may end up spoiling your soup. That's my fourth thing. Fifth, the method to study has to be proper. People study this in the wrong fashion. Third, second, uh, the style of studying is important and if you don't follow the style, the method and the environment and the time slot, then it's going to be a mess. So, so here are the few things that you should not be doing as well. Uh, I hope all the tips that has been shared over here, the do's and the do not do's come handy to you. If you find a child who is distracted, go and help the child to come back. You know what happens every time you help someone to come back, you remind yourself also the same journey of coming back. So the more you help people, the more you help yourself. So like, subscribe and turn on your notification if you want to hear more of us from the team. We would like to wish you all the best. Stay focused. Keep your motivation upright. Know what you want. Go after what you want. Have a goal defined. What is your goal? Is it 60%? Is it 80%? Is it 98%? No matter what, have your goals defined. Go after your goals and go bloody well after your goals nothing to stop you sweat well because you remember if you sweat well in the practice you will never bleed in the war field i wish you good luck i wish you everything that you need in this journey write and let me know if you want something additional but remember to follow the link and take those complimentary question papers and solve them good luck till the next time we meet Thank you.